Hey there, Pisces, and welcome back to Unicorn Channel for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of March, and we're going to take a look at your past, your present, and your near future energies. Also, Pisces, please remember energies do go both ways. I could be picking up on your energy or your person's energy. Take the energies as they resonate. Also, Pisces, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out with YouTube's algorithm. Man, you really want to wipe the slate clean in the past, don't you? Okay, Pisces. So, the main energy for your reading this month is the King of Swords. You are very logical. You're very clear. You're very logical um, in the sense of how you approach situations, which otherwise you may not need to approach logically. So, it's almost like you being a water sign are taking emotions out of the situation and focusing on what makes sense. So, we'll see when we clarify. In the recent past, you get the Justice, the Six of Swords, and the Fool. You really, really want to balance things out. You really want to leave anything negative, anything heavy, anything that doesn't serve you. You're like, goodbye. I have no space for you in my life. I want fairness. I want equality. I want carefree energy. I don't want anything bogging me down. And I feel like there was something or someone which was weighing heavy on you, which really wasn't feeling very aligned for you. And you're kind of like, okay sayonara buddy so we'll see what exactly you decided to leave behind in the recent past in the current situation you get the ten of pentacles the ace of swords the page of cups there's something here which is presenting itself as very stable or having the potential to be very stable and you want to open up you do you you are kind of like emo emotionally interested in this again but this is coming from a logical perspective it's almost like you look at this person and you're like yeah, you check all my boxes. And this could be a person, this could be a career venture, right? I don't know exactly what this is quite yet. I'm not, this isn't screaming love to me, um, but we'll see when we clarify. But either way, it's like this, whatever this thing is, it checks off all your boxes and you're kind of like, you know what? I'm open to this. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Um, and it does make logical sense to you. It's almost like I said, checking the boxes on paper, looking great. In the near future, you get the Tower, the High Priestess, the Three of Pentacles. Your intuition really kicks into overdrive here in the near future. And it's almost like maybe your intuition was trying to get your attention in the past um, and you weren't listening or you were ignoring it. And it's, it's showing up here in the near future as you can't ignore me anymore. I will not be ignored anymore. And this is coming from your intuition. And it has to do with a collaboration or a partnership between you and somebody else both of you both you and this person needing to put in equal amounts of effort to make something work and again this could be pertaining to your career and your growth i don't know if this is necessarily a relationship but we'll see when we clarify so let's start off by clarifying the king of swords which is the main energy for your reading this week king of swords is clarified by the chariot the four of cups and the queen of wands I feel like something happened here in the recent past between you and somebody else who you find very attractive, by the way. Again, I don't see love quite yet, but you're definitely looking at this person like, ooh, caramba, you are spicy. Um, and there was something that took place which brought about a sense of, well, that sucks, but you're moving past it. How are you moving past it? Very quickly. How are you able to do so so quickly? You eliminate your emotions. You look at this logically you're like well again this is just a story coming into my head this isn't necessarily the narrative that's going in your head but you could just be like oh they were just really attractive but i didn't feel a connection or there was no long-term stability or you know um i didn't feel the love either way there was definitely somebody here showing up for you and i feel like something took place which kind of bummed you out but you moved past it that's the main energy for this reading is you moving past a not so great situation Let's see. Now I'm curious. I want to see what this justice is for you in the recent past. Remember how I said this wasn't a love reading, Pisces? Uh, I take that back. The justice is clarified by the Three of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Three of Wands. You were waiting to bring something back together. You wanted a brand new beginning in love with somebody that you've got history with and so i feel like you and this person were together at some point there were feelings there definitely and you're showing me i want to reconcile i want to bring this back i want to rekindle it i'm waiting for the energies to balance out now again i don't see you doing much about this i see you having the desire to reconcile the desire to have a new beginning in love 
the desire for things to balance out, but I don't actually see you taking any action. You're kind of just waiting for it to all fall into place. Let's take a look at the Six of Swords in your recent past. Oh, this is intense. I did not expect this connection to be like this powerful. I thought this was just kind of like a, oh, you're attractive, I'm attractive, we're both attractive. No, this is more than that. Um, for the Six of Swords, you get the lovers, the Nine of Swords, this Knight of Pentacles. You left behind, you're showing me at least, that you or whoever this energy belongs to left behind a very intense connection. And leaving this, walking away from this was not easy. This stressed you out. This gave you a lot of anxiety. There was a lot of overthinking here, but you still show me like, hey, I turned my back and I walked away from this. Despite the depth of this connection, despite how incredible it felt, I still chose to turn my back and walk away. Now, you didn't walk away overnight where it was just like, you know, you wake up, you're like, okay, I'm done, goodbye, and then you leave. It was a slow process. It's almost like you're, you're kind of like, okay, I'm slowly going to turn away. I'm slowly going to put one foot in front of the other. But you still did it. Let's, okay. Let's take a look at the Fool in the recent past. The Five of Swords fell out. Give me two more, please. Oh, Pisces. What are you doing here? The Fool is clarified by the Five of Swords, the King of Swords, the Death. You convince yourself, because don't forget, the King of Swords is the main energy for your reading. You convince yourself that by ending this, by walking away from this, by leaving this, you're going to put an end to whatever made you unhappy. I feel like there was something within this connection where you may have felt a little bit bogged down, a little bit tied down. Like I'm getting the word suffocated. Like this person was suffocating you. And it's not that you didn't care about the person. It's not that you weren't attracted to the person. It's not that you didn't want the connection with the person. You did. Something about them felt suffocating, felt confining. And to you, when you looked at it logically, you were like, okay, if I leave this person, if I walk away from this connection, I'm going to be able to feel that freedom that I want. I'm going to be free. I can start over. I can start fresh. And you told yourself that. And I genuinely believe that you believe that at that point. Okay. But looking back at it, you're kind of like, wait a minute, I have a lot more feelings than I possibly thought I did. Um, and so you're showing me like it made sense for me to end this logically for myself. It made sense for me to put an end to this connection. This is what I wanted. But I feel like now you're realizing that maybe that could have been a form of self-sabotage because I don't feel like you genuinely, after looking back, still wanted to end this or still agree with your decision. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's take a look at your current situation. I want to see what the Ten of Pentacles is for you in the current situation. Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the world, the justice, and you got the justice in the same row in the recent past, and the High Priestess, which you get again in the near future. I love repeating cards. So again, what I feel here is that this whole situation, this person, this connection, it's done. It's done in the 3D world. There's a certain element of this connection, which it's kind of like chapter closed, we're over. Now, it doesn't have to be this whole connection. It could just be an aspect, like you needing freedom, you feeling restricted, um, the other person being clingy, etc. Because I don't feel like this whole connection is over because the, the emotions are still there for you and for them. Okay, the lovers, to me as a reader, is two ways, right? I love you, you love me. It's not just I feel this for you. Um, and so in the current situation, there was an aspect, there was an element which is coming to an end. That chapter is closed, but intuitively you feel like there's still more to come. It's like there's karmic balance, which, which still needs to take place. And I feel like you're the one that needs to enact it. These are very, very powerful energies. These aren't just energies of like on the surface. This is like your higher self is the one moving the wheels is the one guiding everything that takes place when it comes to closing out this chapter. Wow, okay. But you're definitely experiencing a sense of balance, a sense of calmer waters now. It's like your inner you is like, okay, I'm balanced, I'm good, right? Whatever came to an end, despite everything that's going on, I'm still good. Let's take a look at the Ace of Swords for you in the current situation. The Ace of Swords, there you are, is clarified by the Six of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Moon. You're very clear on the divine connection that you and this person share. It's like you realize like, okay, this is what this is. This is that type of connection. And I do see you having the desire to work on things. 
you do want to put in the work. I don't see you fully committing to putting in the work. If I saw the Eight of Pentacles here, I'd be like, okay, Pisces actually like reaching out and like, you know, working with this person. You're still more in a sense of, okay, I get what this is. I know kind of where I want to go. Do I want to invest the energy in this? Do I want to actually put in the work to bring this connection back, to have a new beginning in love, to have this person back in my life? So I don't see you necessarily taking action, but you're definitely becoming more aware of what this person, what this connection means to you and how it ties into your higher self on a higher level, how it's aligned with that. Let's take a look at the page of cups for you in the current situation. Page of cups is clarified by the six of swords, the sun and the three of swords. Okay, remember how you got the six of swords in the recent past tied up to you walking away from this very intense connection, despite the fact that it stressed you out, you still chose to slowly move away. I feel like in the current situation, you realize that the real key to happiness here, which is what you thought you were going to achieve, by the way, in the recent past by walking away from this connection, the real key for you for happiness here is to work through some, pro some unprocessed emotional pain that you're still carrying, okay? It could be tied up to this connection. It could be to something that happened in the past, not even tied up to this person, which is it's like manifesting itself in this connection, right? People come into our lives to help us do the shadow work. And so I feel like this person came into your life to help you do the shadow work. And you're realizing now, like as a result of this connection not being in your life, I have some stuff that I need to work on. I have some emotional pain that I need to work on. And by working through that emotional pain and getting rid of it completely, instead of just avoiding different people that resurface it for me, that's how I'm going to get to this sun. That's how I'm going to get to this immense happiness. And I see you in a position of like, okay, I'm starting to get it now. I'm starting to realize that now. Let's take a look at the tower for you in the near future. This reading turned out way more intense than I thought it would. I'm gonna be honest, Pisces. Ooh. The tower is clarified by the hermit, the tower again, and the two of pentacles. Something's taking place here in the near future, which is sending you into very deep healing. I feel like in the current situation, you're kind of like touching the healing bubble where you're like, okay, let me play around with it. Let me see. And then in the near future, spirit's like, stop dipping your toe, Pisces. And it just throws you into the pool of healing. Um, this is a little bit like groundbreaking or like earth shattering for you because you're kind of like, whoa, where did all this healing come from? You're a little bit confused and you're kind of like, eee, I don't know if I want to like dive in that deep. I kind of want to like edge my toe or walk in slowly into the pool of healing and spirit kind of just flung me in there. So I do see a little bit of like, <gasps> you know, confused energy, like what is going on, but very powerful energy coming in for you. And I don't necessarily feel like it's more than you can handle. I don't see you being like terrified or you know, backing away from this. There's just a little bit of confusion where you're like, uh, is this a little bit more than I bargained for here? Let's take a look at the high priestess for you in the near future. I don't like how that came up. One more. High priestess is clarified by the five of pentacles, the ace of swords, which you got in the same row in the current situation, and the ten of cups. On a very, very, very deep level, Pisces, you realize exactly where your happiness lies. You're very clear that this separation, this break that you experienced from this connection, this divine connection, by the way, um, in the current situation, in the near future, you're starting to realize like, yeah, maybe I don't want to be apart from this person because there's a lot of happiness tied up to this connection. There's a lot of happiness tied up to this person, this divine connection. And it's not just kind of like a, you know, you wake up one day and you're like, oh, you know, I kind of miss them. I'm so lonely. No, this is much, much deeper than that. This is like, again, your higher self is kind of aligning with this connection, with what this connection means, with what makes you truly emotionally happy, emotionally fulfilled. Let's take a look at the Three of Pentacles for you in the near future. Oh my gosh, why do your cards keep doing that? One more. Three of Pentacles, man, these are some intense energies. Very powerful. Um, it's like your higher self is really, really coming out to play in the near future. The Three of Pentacles is clarified by the Temperance, the Strength, and the Hanged Man. 
you have been wanting to heal this connection with you and somebody else for quite some time. You've been wanting to put in the work. You've been wanting to meet this person halfway, okay? But I feel like because in the near future, you're still going through some healing, I don't see you actually acting based on this desire. The desire to meet this person halfway and be like, hey, let's rebuild this foundation between you and I, whether it's to get back together, to be friends, something about having this person's energy in your life, the desire is there, but you're definitely still going through a very big healing process in the near future. And I feel like that coupled with the fact that, you know, you're not really sure whether this other person's going to be receptive to it or where their energy is makes it a little bit difficult for you. And you're showing me here. I don't really want to move yet. It's not the right time for me. I don't want to budge. And so again, the desire is definitely there, but you're more focused on your healing than it is on this connection, on this relationship. It's like you shift your energy from investing in this connection to I realize that I'm more important. I need to prioritize myself and my healing before I can like have everything else fall into place in my life. Wow. Let's uh, see what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month, Pisces. One more. From the universe, you get the Five of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. You're showing me here that you genuinely believe that you're moving away. You're leaving this behind. You're completely releasing everything um, in the recent past. Remember, you're releasing this connection. You're releasing that desire. I don't genuinely believe, and I, these energies are showing me otherwise, that you are moving as slowly as you think you are. Because what you're showing me here is like, I'm walking away, I'm walking away, it's all completely done. But then it's, there's an energy of like, well, these energies keep following me around. Why do they keep following me around? Am I not making any progress? And you're telling yourself like, I'm not making progress, I'm not moving, I'm not moving. You are moving. You're moving a lot faster than you genuinely realize. But you keep telling yourself that nothing's moving, nothing's happening, nothing's budging. There's no progress being made. When there really is, there's a lot of progress being made. And I think your weekly reading for the first week of March had a very similar message to that, if I remember correctly. So Pisces, let's close off your reading with an Oracle card from the universe. Really intense reading. Expect powerful change. I mean, I don't even think I need to explain this. You're going through some powerful change. And if you're not experiencing these energies yet, you will very, very soon. So Pisces, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it resonated, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks again for tuning in. And I will see you here for your weekly reading next week. Bye, Pisces.